Greetings everybody, this is the Dandy Man, and welcome back to Stellaris. Uh, last time around, we had just found some new friends to make a federation with. Which I kind of want to do, because I haven't actually done that in my other playthrough. Or in my private playthrough. So I want to try that. Let's see. Yeah, we're f we're building up our military. We're gonna take down the Legion because I really don't like them. And then I kind of want to make a, a federation with the Skrek, the Saked, and the Chim. So what do these guys look like? I kind of like what those guys. What are they? Do we know? I think we can find out here in our species tab. Because this shows everything that, we, that we've ever met. The hive are fungaloids. We're fungaloids. And it gives us, like, all of our traits. Here's the Skrek. They're anthropods, and they are just talented, and they want continents. And they've got a decent-sized population. And they got eight planets. Holy crap. Yeah, so they are definitely one of the advanced ones that end up happening. And so are these guys. They... Are enduring and strong, and they want continental. So these two want continental. We want tropical, but we can also do continental and desert. But we want tropical, which makes sense because plants. Speaking of which, I still want the plant people, and the and the like mineraloids. I still want that. That would still be awesome. But we're expanding our reach. That's there. Like we're gonna have our science ships start surveying over here. Survey over here. And then we're gonna put up just to use some of this. Oh, when did it go down? What did we use it for last time? I don't know. Oh well. There. And we will start exploring space. And each of these has a striker. I was forced to return to... Because it is within the border of the Jessex homeworld. Oh. Oh, we got a new one that pretty much has taken up this entire thing. Okay. Cooperation will benefit. Spiridai, how delightful. We haven't expected to encounter you for a few centuries yet. Personally, I thought you would wipe yourselves out long before leaving your gravity well. But I'm glad to have been proven wrong. Well, that's kind of dickish, but we salute you. What are you? You are a stagnant ascendancy. Kind of looks like he has a Caesar's head, but ignatic observers. And they're just straight up xenophiles. And they are overwhelming compared to us. Like, wow. I guess we're both xenophiles, we got that, but. Why, do, why are we repugnant? Like, is that one of our traits? I can't remember if I chose that. That's the Empire screen. We don't want that. I want the. I want the species. No, we're just slow breeders. So why are we repugnant? Because we're not. They're the ones that are repugnant. So why are we repugnant? We're not repugnant. Oh, maybe they're repugnant. I don't know. But, hey, at least I was able to build up something over here. I got some kind of thing going on. How, how far is the planet along? Decent. So, maybe instead I make these guys just scan these systems. What are these guys? Those are the crystalline entities, so we need to kind of send our guys in there. But we need to make them stronger. 
I'm gonna make them have an embassy. And our colony is fully established. More crystalline entities, so I think I'm gonna just have you go in there. Let's go to our colony. It's fully established. I just wanted a little foothold up here, just so we can have a worm gate. That's safe, because I can't build in their stuff until later. A little space. Let's go there. Yeah. So today's been a rather interesting day. Today, I had to go all the way up to my school to test out of a class. Only to find out that my student advisor never actually signed me up for the class. Which was ridiculous. Ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod is detected close to German 5. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and presumably scan structure was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the spirit managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race. Possibly a mate or a revered later. Interesting. And we get society from that. But yeah, today... I went and got another test, because I had a test out of class, because our school got absorbed by another school, which no student wanted. It was all the higher-ups that wanted it, and even then, it was higher-ups from the other guys. So, nobody was happy with this. But they forced the issue anyway. But anyway, I had to go and sign up for it, only to find out my student, my academic advisor never actually... Uh, sign me up, even though it he totally made it seem like it did. But they were nice enough, they let me just like kind of go in and then they let me pay and like immediately sign up for something so I could just go right on in and get out of there, which was really nice and I really appreciate that. That was really kind of them to do because they didn't have to. So I just kind of want to thank them and let, let the people out there know there's still life isn't completely suckish. Just mostly. Swirling shadows. Immense raging plans. Oh, we've seen this one before. There seems to be a lot of those. But I just want to thank them, and it's not all bad. Like it's been one of the few nice things that's actually come out of this college. Not a lot of them. Not a lot of good things have come out. Because. It's been a horrible college experience so far. And we found there are not a centralized domains. These were one of the other ones we made. Cool. I speak on behalf of the Narada centralized domains and have been authorized to bring you greetings. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader Empress with reverence, I see no reason for our diplomatic relations to sour. Good. Where are they? No, 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 no. Oh, there they are. They're doing good for themselves. Alright. We met one of the other ones we built. Sweet. But I still need to expand down here. We're done with that, so science. Plasma throwers, sensors, increased power might be nice, because we're kind of running, we're going to reach our cap of that soon. Like, this increases the overall, so we could have more things up. But then again, sensors. These would be pretty good, too. Huh. This makes our colonies go up faster. We don't really need a plasma thrower. We're doing we need better weapons overall, but we don't use we could use this. Just go straight through armor, but it's pretty close range.
think we're gonna do the sensors this time around. Alright, but you know, that was a very interesting experience. And it also helps that my school's too far away. Like it is way too far away. And it's done all the debris. Sweet. So we're gonna actually have you come we're actually gonna have you come and explore down here. You go and explore down there, man. And you... Because right now it's all about expansion. I don't know if I can actually form a federation. I think that was one of the options, but I just didn't do it. We have a new president. Whoa, did we finish up this minor mandate? No, we did not. Wow. So we're just kind of being screwed by influence. But then again, we don't also really need it. Oh, that's what we were used this on. We went to here, and I think we just made a planetary edict. Yeah, that's what we did. We increased the amount of money we got. Speaking of which, is there anything for me to upgrade here? No, but I can clear this. Can I upgrade this yet? No, I can't. Alright. Then we can spread out down here. Over here. A mining station. And what's their mandate? Who do we get? Same guy. So that means still mining. Sweet. So I guess that means construction ship. Start building mines. This within our borders. I built here? No, it's not. So, is there anything going on here, or is this just like a system that it's all barren? So there's no point in here. So we're just going to build a frontier outpost. I'll expand that to cover these. Then we'll build mining stations. And more row and pie. Yeah, when you expand out, like drone disassembled. So research both of these. And I'm assuming that just means that they're we're gonna find more uh nations down here and be surrounded by all sides. And I'm betting this right here is a lower species that just came to sentience. What do we got here? Ooh, our sensors are done already. Observatory. Planet sensor range. Physics outputs. Society outputs. Engineering outposts. It's a good rare technology. I think we're actually going to get it. Because you want rare technologies when they come up. What is this? An unidentified empire. And more aliens. And add you to the research. There's two tropical worlds over here. Wow. What's this one? And what's this one? We want this one, if we have a choice between the two. Simply because it's a lot bigger. Oh, and this one is pre-sentient. So can, can we put up a, an observatory around here? Well, no, it's outside our range, but... Hmm. The Yalon Consortium. Greetings, I have been chosen by Director Fen Fuj to represent the Yalon Consortium in all diplomatic dealings with your people. We strive to unlock the full potential of technology, and we would do well not to interfere with our pursuit of knowledge. Of course. 
Interesting. Like, we're meeting a lot of types of government. And we are, they are really superior to us, but they really like us. So I'm going to try to offer them a trade deal with star chart for star chart. And you always end up needing to have this with plus one. I mean, since we have plenty of money. Press curl for 10 per click. Wow, you guys are greedy. Well, it's not like we don't have the money. All right, you know what? I'm just going to do 100. Why, is, why do you not want this? This we at least want. So why won't they? Is it just because they have better star charts than us? Or a non-aggression pledge. They have six sciences, or we have six sciences, four social, and one engineering that they don't have, and they have ten, fifteen, and five. Oh. Yeah, they definitely got the advantage over us. Man, I wanted to get to know them better. Uh, we'll try back in a little bit. What about you guys? How are you with us? You're 78. And you are way stronger than us. Can we do you? Star chart? For star chart? No. They don't like us. Well, I guess I can kind of understand why. And here those two are. Space memes. We're only just now meeting the space memes? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, whoa, what's this? The entity encountered by our fleet some time ago are new wondrous forms of space born life. Click the name space memes, follow an analysis gross of mystery to initial sensor on put the creature is in fact larger than the average Peridian Corvette. We should leave it be and remotely monitor creatures in its ken from Valu. Well, yeah, we, we, we don't like attacking random our deep space tracking array on Corasia. It's an alarming discovery. A large asteroid is heading toward the moon on a direct collision course. Should it be impact the surface, the consequences would be disastrous. The asteroid must be destroyed before it's too late. Holy crap. That is the first time we've ever had a, had a calamity happen. Like, in either of my places. That is cool. Coming asteroid. Oh no. Uh, get a fleet in there. Dude, drop what you are doing. Get in there. Move and attack. There. And it's slow. So. That'll be good, because if it's so slow. And this will give us cruisers, which will be nice. Army damage, mineral damage, mineral military stations, mining network. Which will give us bigger bonus to this. But we have plenty of storage area for that. Holy crap. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with the cruiser and get bigger military butts. Yep, come on, man. Come on! Where are you? There you are. Destroy it. Destroy it. How are, how are we supposed to deal with that? Yeah, research them. Asteroids sighted. Please destroy it. There has to be some way for you to destroy it. Why isn't it, is it even being affected? The space memes, nicknames, not unlovingly populated on Valu, are solitary creatures when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent organisms, dubbed flagella, seemingly spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA-laced secretions. 
to do the bidding of the host. Initially assumed to be young space females, the flagella do not seem to factor into any reproductive mechanics. Each, flagella, each individual flagella instead operates solely on a discontented limb for its host amoeba. These flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host. Periodically returning to lounge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. They are a potentially military application of the graceful patterns of circulation apparent in the flagellus moment. Fascinating. So we get like a permanent plus five evasion to that. And okay, so yeah, we're almost destroyed this thing. We need better w guns, because oh god, that is too close. Yes, keep destroying it. Keep going down. Keep going down, and yes! And we gained a bunch of minerals from that, too. Awesome! I haven't had a, uh... Yeah, form of federation, because I kind of want to do that. Or, no, rare technology, you want to... You still want these. Uh... We'll see what you got. Solar panel network, yes. Off the bat, yes. Uh... Border range... Which will be really helpful. Or forming a federation. I think we're going to go for border range because that's a rare technology, which means it's harder to get. But man, that was close. Go get repair. Oh, there was nothing to attack them, so. Did you expand all these? Yes, you did. Right, so I think we're going to put something here. So science ship. Scan the system. Construction ship. Start building me money. So, build all the mining stations here. Build all the mining stations here. No, build them both. And then build a research station. Cause yeah, that's the one we're lowest in. And another frontier outpost research stations. And Just barely outside our borders. And that's what we'll do with you. Get a bunch of research going. Thank God we got that fixed out. What do we have here? Mining drones. So, to disassemble mining drones, do we need to send in a science ship? Or, or do we need to send in one of these guys? That should force that, them to engage. That'll force them to engage, and then I think we'll send a science ship in and see if that'll give us our minor drone analysis. A minor mandate. Ooh, I haven't seen these. Are these guys even part of what you can choose to look like? The consensus of this seer. You are speaking to the consensus of this seer. First speaker... Firm Fuge is our elected representative, but in truth all citizens have a voice in our government. We strive to better ourselves through a technology, a desire we do not expect primitive aliens such as yourself to understand. Cooperation will be beneficial to us all. But who are those douches? Because that was a pretty... There they are. They're all the way over here. That was a pretty douchey thing to say, dude. Especially someone so far away. 
like at least four governments in between us. Don't be dishing. Don't be dissing us, dude. We will take you down. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it off this time, guys. We are going... We stopped <laughs> one of our planets from being wiped out, which is great. Alright, so Mind Drone Disassembly. The Mind Drones were destroyed in heated battle with Spiridian vessels. As luck would have it, their energy cells are by far the sturdiest component used in their construction. And some were recovered by our ships. The technology behind these cells is beyond us at present, but initial tests show that we are quite capable of converting their output to energy credits. As the final energy cell bled out, the engineers handled the test and noticed a dip in background radiation. It would appear that the drones are not silent, but have been sporadically broadcasting on unusual frequencies since we first encountered them, possibly even since they were first deployed. It is unlikely that there is anything left to receive these transmissions. At any rate, the drone should prove to be potential, but limited source of energy should we be able to find and dis disassemble them efficiently enough. Gives access to the Drone Bounty Empire Edict and ends the Mining Drone Analysis Event chain. So we finished that particular chain and we got a new edict. Leaders, factions, edicts here. The general moment, Prince of Lens. And does that appear here? Drone bounty, yes. And we get 50 energy credits for every mining base we destroy. We only have one bonus influence a month, and so that'll get rid of that, so I don't want to do that. Well, this will be the end for us right now, guys. We've really expanded our our map on who our neighbors are. And we kind of got screwed a bit. Because we got a major enemy right here. And we're trapped there. And then we got four of the eight advanced races around us. Either that or just like they're really built for empires. But... Yeah, these four all seem to be big players. But, hopefully when we take over this area right here, we will... Well, <laughs> we'll have a better grip and more standing. So, this is the Dandy Man, signing off. Ta-ta for now, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.